One week from today, NASA is set to launch a unique space mission that may revolutionize our understanding of the sun. The Parker Solar Probe will fly straight through the sun's outermost atmosphere, the first spacecraft ever to do so, and somehow it won't melt. The roughly 90-mile mission has another distinction as well. The probe is named for a 91-year-old living scientist, a first in the history of the U.S. space exploration. Barry Peterson has the story. Two firsts here, the first ever probe to explore the sun, and the first time NASA has named a spacecraft after a living person. To present you with the very first scale model of Parker Solar Probe. This living person, Gene Parker, you kept pushing, a 91-year-old astrophysicist at the University of Chicago. You look at this figure here, and you realize there's only one solution that goes from zero velocity to zero pressure at infinity. Parker's love affair with astrophysics started in high school. After earning his PhD, he came to the University of Chicago as a research associate in 1955. Then in 1958, he proved that the sun emitted more than heat. It also sent out supersonic streams of charged particles what we now call solar wind. It was inspiration followed by a lot of mental sweat. And it took me two years to figure it out. Parker had seen the same clues everyone else saw. Earth's atmosphere bombarded with the solar radiation commonly known as the Northern Lights. And how when comets passed through the solar system, the tails were always away from the sun because Parker suspected the solar wind blew them outward. But when he went to publish his formula, he was first met not with acclaim, but scorn. So when you did this equation and your critics said You're, you should go back to the library and study something else, were they able to take anything apart in this? No, they simply declared the whole notion was ridiculous. And if you press them, they would say, well, it must be, you must have made a mistake here because it's a, you came to a ridiculous conclusion. But nobody who said that was able to deconstruct this equation to prove it wrong. They didn't even try, as far as I know. Parker visited his namesake as it was being readied for launch. He praised the people who designed all this, just as many of them consider him a science superstar. Congratulations. Thank you, Tom. The respect that has been shown to you is extraordinary. My favorite line, you're like the Brad Pitt of astrophysics. Do you feel like Brad Pitt? I'm not entirely clear on who Brad Pitt is. Well, let's just say he's very famous and very handsome. The seven-year, $1.5 billion project will measure the supersonic speeds of the solar winds. The sun may be the only star within our reach, but... Because the sun is an ordinary star, and if you any other star of the same class will have the same features. Does that mean that what we learn from this probe will tell us about all the stars in the galaxy? The majority of the stars in the galaxy. Do you ever stop to think how you changed our vision of what the sun is? No, I never did, actually. But even a hero astrophysicist who changed the way we see the stars... You know, here's the key to it. ...has his limits when it comes to something closer to his earthly home, like his hometown, Chicago Cubs. Easier to understand the sun than predict the outcome of a baseball game. Absolutely. Oh, it's a more, baseball game is infinitely more complicated and involves factors about which you know nothing. How does this or that pitcher feel on the morning of the last game? Uh, well, and so forth and so forth. And as the solar probe begins its voyage, his lifetime voyage of discovery has not ended. I've always enjoyed learning how things work, simply endless puzzles and problems that come to light, some of them trivial, amusing, some of them very important, and uh, I take great pleasure in, in learning them. And because of him, we will learn about our own son, and that 
will teach us about all the stars that stretch to infinity. For CBS This Morning, Saturday, Barry Peterson, Chicago. Well, that's just cool. Eugene Parker, you've got a fan here now. Forget Brad Pitt of astrophysics. He's just the Eugene Parker. The Brad Pitt of astrophysics who doesn't <laughs> yeah, know who exactly. Brad Pitt is. Or... <laughs>